Hello everyone, we will continue the topic, the steps to send a smart form PDF as an email. And as a part of that, we firstly received the binary file of the smart form. It was in extreme format. We simply, simply converted that extreme format to binary format. And then we started using the classes. And as a part of that, we firstly created the send request through create underscore persistent method of this particular class. Now we will move on to next step. Just recall, whenever you are sending a mail, whenever you are sending a mail, what we are doing? We are firstly clicking on to which button? Compose button. We are clicking on to compose. It means we are creating a send request. Done. After that, you are giving the name of the recipients, name of the receivers whom you want to send the mail. The simple thing. Whatever the email address you are writing here, that must exist. You cannot send mail to anyone who does not exist. You cannot send a mail to email address which does not exist at all. So whenever we are passing a email address or whenever we are passing a email address of the recipient, firstly, we need to create that recipient. That email address should exist. Same thing is applicable in terms of SAP. Whenever you are sending a mail, it means firstly, we need to create that in SAP. It should be there. It should be there. Otherwise, how system know? For system, that is unknown itself. So firstly, we will create the recipient. Then we will pass the recipient. Yes, the recipient should exist, should exist. So firstly, what we will do? We will create the recipient. So to create the recipient, you all know, we cover two classes. One is CL underscore SAP user underscore BCS. And next is CL underscore CAM underscore address underscore BCS. If you want to send the mail within SAP, within SAP users itself, at that time, we will use this class to create the SAP users. Whenever we will send the mail to external email addresses, at that time, we will create the users or we will create the recipients through this particular class. Now, firstly, I will go for SAP user. Then I will go for the external user. See, we are going for creation process. Ultimately, this class will be used to add the recipient. Firstly, we are creating. For creation, we are using these classes. But ultimately, to pass the recipient, to add the receiver or to add the recipient, we will go for this particular class only. We start. Anyways, whenever we will do the practical, you will get the full clarity. So I will go for this particular class. We will do both the ways, both the steps. SAP user as well as external user. So I will go to SC24 transaction code. I pass the class and it is a global class and description is clearly saying represents an SAP user. So this is for SAP user. If you see the description also, this is for business communication services, this class and for SAP users. So we have so many methods available here. So many methods. Now we need to create the SAP user. 
So we'll see which particular method we can use. If I will scroll down, you can simply, simply see we have a method create. And what is that description? Gets an SAP user object. So we will use this particular method, yes, to create the SAP user, to get the SAP user. Yes, and if you see, this method is again a static method. If the method is static method, is there any need for the object? There is no need for the object. Without object itself, we can call this particular method. So firstly, we will use this particular method. So we are going for this step. What is our next step? We are creating the SAP user. Then we will create external user also. Now, I will go to pattern button. A map object patterns. Now, what is the name of the class to create a SAP user? This is the name of the class. Now I will go to F4 help and you can see all methods appear and I will go for create. And I will simply, simply uncomment. Now I need to give the user, I need to give the username. Now I will give my username itself. If you see, how I logged in into the SAP system. What is my SAP user? R Mehta. So I will simply, simply give my name. So I will give R Mehta. Now it is returning. It is returning a result. How I can check the type of this result? Just double click on the method. This is always the best way. Result, result, double click. Result is of which type? It is referring type ref to this particular class, this particular class. It's, it means ultimately it is returning a object of this particular class itself, this particular class. And if you remember, Every method, whenever you are going for returning, only one returning is allowed. It is already covered in a map object oriented programming. Yes, a method can have only one returning parameter. And what it is returning? It is returning a result which is referring to our class itself. It means it is returning as a object, object, because object is always type ref2. So what I will do, I will simply, simply write hello underscore SAP user. I declared one object, hello means local object. Now I will declare this object. Hello underscore SAP user. Type ref2. I will give the name of the class. What is the name of the class? CL underscore SAP user underscore BC. Because it is returning this only. It is returning the object which is referring to this class. I'll check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. Now you can understand in that way also the type of this result is same as that of LO underscore SAP user. Result type ref to CL underscore SAP user underscore BCS and this LO underscore SAP user is also referring to CL underscore SAP user underscore BCS. 
So now we created the user. Just think in a way, we created our account. Yes, if your email address is not existing, how someone can send email the same way we created this particular thing. Now we need to add the recipient. We need to add the receiver. We need to add the email address of the receiver. If I will go for this, you can understand. Now email address and all user is existing. Now we can pass the email address or whatever. Now we, as of now, we are sending the mail to SAP user. Now we can pass. And you all know very well, whenever we want to add the recipient, ultimately we will use which particular class CL underscore BCS only. We created the user, but adding the recipient finally to the mail is this particular class job only. So we will simply, simply go to this class and we will see which method we need to use now. And have you seen what is the method add underscore recipient? Add recipient to the send request. Yes, we will add the recipient. So how we can call this method now? Now, important learning. This method is which method? Instance method. It means we will always, always call this method through the object. Yes. And have you seen? We already have the object. We already have the object of this particular class C. We got the object, this create underscore persistent method returned the object, which is referring to this class only CL underscore BCS. So, sorry, this is not the program. This is the program. If you see, LO underscore BCS is referring to this particular class only by mistake i went to different program now how how we can go because ultimately whatever the recipient we created we need to add through this cl underscore bcs class only so i will go to pattern a map object patterns what is the name of the object now the object is LO underscore BCS because it is an instance method. So we require object. But the name of class CL underscore BCS. And which method we need to use now? Add underscore recipient. Enter. Now you will get the full, full clarity, full clarity. Now we need to pass the name or we need to pass the recipient. Just double click. What is the type of I underscore recipient? It is type ref to this particular thing. Just see. What is the object of your recipient? What is the object of your recipient? This is the object of your recipient. So you can simply, simply pass. So this is the way how we can do. Yes, we created the recipient, but ultimately we added the recipient through this particular method. So ultimately, we are using this CL underscore BCS class only to add the recipient. Now, what is the summary of the video? The summary of the video is we started with our next step. Our next step is creating the SAP user or external user. Now, remember, you can Whenever you are adding a recipient or receiver, it should exist. It means we need to create that user first. Yes. If I if I do, if I'm passing some email address which does not exist at all, 
how email will go to that particular email address. So how we are creating SAP user, then we will go for external email address also, external user also. To create the SAP user, we use this particular class, CLSAP user underscore BCS. We use the method create. I passed my ID and it returned the object. It returned the object. And after that, we added the recipient by using the, we added this, we added this user as a recipient, whatever we created through which particular method add underscore recipient of which class CL underscore BCS only. And this method is a instance method. So we call through object and whatever the user we created, whatever the object is created for that particular SAP user, we passed that particular object. And have you seen, we have a single, single hyphen and greater than key. It means it is which method? It is your instance method. In the next video, we will learn how to create external user and then we will go for add underscore recipient for the same. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.